have more and more tourists come in to our neighborhood, it will destroy our marsh banks and it will affect our fishing, and we should be concerned about that. Additionally, there's natural debris and brush that's along Bob Smith. If we clear that out, we would be able to maintain the trash better and control the trash from people going by. We've had an ongoing issue about trash in the community, the birds tearing out the bags and everything. It would be easier to, to clean and maintain with our contracts that we have for the mowers. It's a good natural barrier to keep there right now to prevent people from parking. So that's my proposal. Uh, it would not limit parking on the other side of the street. It would not limit anyone from who wants to go over there and park their golf cart and, you know, watch the sunset or sit in their car and fish with their golf cart and fish. It's no parking for vehicles that are basically left unattended, but it would be. So that would be my proposal. I think it would help with the safety. You know, we did talk about the fact that the police need to give tickets. I actually contacted Robert, um, I believe it was this week or last week, because there was a car parked the wrong way on Boston. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you uh, next person will be uh, uh, Deborah Tepper. <coughs> Deborah Tepper, 16916 Beach Comer. I have a couple of items, 7 and 10. Let's start with positive, the dog park. I've talked with Gil about this. I think it's a great idea. It's something that's needed in our community, and I've talked to several of my neighbors. Hopefully, this is something we can, can move forward, and hopefully, you want to see my tax money for the expense of that. The second thing is the branch construction um, contract. And and this is not to besmirch your company in any way whatsoever, but 32 years of municipal government tells me that nothing is free. And I went back and looked at our check register, and starting in October, we have paid branch construction almost $115,000. And I'm not sure, I don't know if we have a contract. You don't need to answer that. Um, I don't think we do. But it appears that $115,000 has been spent in four months with little to no council oversight. Um, and if that is indicative of emergency repairs, then we got bigger problems than any of us know what to do with. Thank you. Thank you for your comments. The uh, next item on the agenda. Agenda will be reports. Uh, does anybody have any questions? Those reports are in your packets. Does anybody have any questions for the directors or police? I don't think the reports are for that. Uh, they're, they're available online. Oh, okay. They're, they're available. <laughs> there would be questions from the council. Okay. Uh, Item number seven, uh, comments, reports from members of council. Woody, would you like to be first? Um, I have nothing. Thank you. Uh, Alderman Jones? Yes, thank you, Mayor. Um, I attended the West Galveston Island Property Association meeting at the city council meeting. You can see that on YouTube. I had the pleasure of talking to our state representative, Terry Leo Wilson. We're very fortunate to have her represent us in Austin. I'm keeping an eye on new legislation in Austin that will be debated and could affect our city. It's a little hobby of mine and I like to track the bills and, uh, as they're presented. I, quite, I find it quite fascinating to follow the process. Our Stars for Troops <coughs> volunteers have been very busy. We've been collecting flags, packaging stars for our military veterans and first responders. The stars are shared as a token of the city's appreciation from to to our first responders um, and the remaining stripes from the flags are retired with honor. Our volunteers take stars with them whenever they travel, and we've reached all corners of this nation and around the world. If you want to donate a flag, please be sure that they're made in the USA and have embroidered stars. You can drop them off at City Hall or contact me. If you'd like to become a volunteer, you can call City Hall and they'll give you my phone number. Um, 
chief clarity. I hope that while you're meeting um, some of these people, that you're also giving stars to them. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. In the past few weeks, I've talked with so many of the wonderful and kind people of Jamaica Beach. We really do live in the best little village in Texas. I also um, want to let you know that there is a grand reopening of the Galveston Island State Park to renovated beaches. That's March 31st at 10 a.m. There's a welcome, a presentation of colors, acknowledgments, ribbon cutting, and interpretive program. Um, so that's going to be a really big deal. I talked to the um, director of the state parks today, and uh, um, she let me know that, that everyone is it's a public event and everyone's involved. <coughs> Thank you, Mayor. Yeah, I have only one report to make. I've been, uh, been working with Robert and trying to quantify where we are on the water system and try to get a feel for if we do have leakage and waste of water and, and what's causing it, where it is. Robert's got a map that's been produced by an engineer, I think. And we're going to get that printed out and we're going to try to quantify where we are and start trying to figure out from statistical and an actual standpoint, do we have, do we or do we not have leakage? One of the things, we just got a new water meter. Isn't that correct? Yes, it is. So uh, my thinking is that they're monitoring this water meter just like we monitor a residence water meter, right? Yes. My thinking, Robert, is that if we come in and, and find out what's happening between, say, 2 and 4 o'clock in the morning, when there's not a lot of usage. If we, if we start um, monitoring that and seeing where we're at, we'll give us a lot of what type of leakage we really have. It's just one of my thoughts, mm -hmm. and that's the reason for this map. Is how much we install, how much more we got to go, and just a picture of where it's going. That's it. Thank you. things first. Uh, we have some folks here who've been working on the beautification of Jamaica Beach. If they are, could you please stand up, please? There's one person that's at the center. 
Alderman Jones. I, I, I'm very disappointed with you. Uh, you are this, reckless. This, this is not right. Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. Uh -uh. This is no, not right. Fair. Am I out of order? Yep. Yes. yes. How am I out of order? He is having his alderman's report. I have my right to make my comments. And you have been reckless. We don't know. It's caused our city. It's caused our city to divide even further. And it, it's just not right. Wow. And uh, oh, I'm not doing this. I can't I'm not going out. to say more, but it's not so, right. Uh, but it's, it's just not right. Just You're because not right. you have the right to do something doesn't make it the right thing. You're not right. Uh, next item for up for business is consent agenda and approval of minutes. Uh, the following items are considered routine by the city council and will be enacted by one motion. There will not be a separate discussion for these items unless the council member requests. In which event the item will be removed from the general order of business and considered in its normal sequence on the agenda. Um, do we have any discussion? Do we take these two items? I have a motion to approve as one. I'll make that motion to approve those minutes. Do we have a second? Second. May we have a vote, please? All in favor? Thank you. Next item, number nine, is our new business. Uh, item number one is discussion, consideration, and possible, possibly take action to approve ordinance number 2023-05, amending ordinances 2023-1, section D. Sure. This is a uh, this is the amendment that passed last month, and we promised that we promised Alderman uh, Jones that we would come back uh, and have amended to where Taylor's mirrors the city of Galveston's uh, work to work. Right. Any discussion? Yeah. Are you ready to vote. All in favor? Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Motion to approve ordinance number 2023-05, amending ordinance 2023-1, section Thank you. Thank you. All in favor? Thank you. <clears throat> Discussion, consideration, and possibly take action to approve ordinance number 2023-06. Repealing ordinance number 2001-03, realignment of council positions by allowing the mayor's term to be for one year. It's not what it sounds, but we'll let Mr. Quintero. Uh, we're cleaning up old ordinances, and this one has uh, need to be sunset because this was uh, an unexpired term of a former mayor, and this is put in for a special election for an unexpired term. Now it's time to remove it. Again. <laughs> this is an old ordinance from the year 2001 that was passed to have a special election for an unexpired term for mayor for one year, and we've been carrying it in the books. We're asking it sunset and it expires. Okay, it's you're just taking it off the book. Correct. We're just sunsetting that ordinance. Correct. And replacing it with nothing. Or, replacing yeah. it with an ordinance. Replacing it with nothing. With nothing. It doesn't need to be. It's a one year. Uh, election time and it's been it's 22 years old and we've never used it correct after that one election okay i just want to make sure but i'm voting for you <laughs> no motion to uh, vote on that um, motion to approve ordinance 2023-06 repealing ordinance number 200103 realignment of council positions by allowing the mayor's turn to be for one year Second. 
next item, I discussion, consideration, possibly take action to approve ordinance number 2023-07 to establish a dead tree, disease trees, and dead palm tree branches, rules and regulations. Um, Mr. Patero, do you want to? No, sorely, sorely needed to be right around town. You, uh, I had Tom just go down Buccaneer and then Bob Smith. We counted 135 trees just, just riding back and forth. Just a glance. Um, it's, uh, I visited with Joe <laughs> Gonzalez from JBIC. He is on the beautification chair and he supports this. <clears throat> and uh, I believe staff is asking me all the passes. This ordinance. Okay. Yeah, we've, we've had uh, several issues where trees have <clears throat> fallen, fallen on other people's property, damaged it, uh, power lines, and we just need to get something with some teeth. And, uh, I would is like there to, a time limit? I mean, are you going to let it go for a year? Or it's in your it's in your back, you know, on the ordinance. Mm -hmm. I haven't read it. I would do that. I'm sorry. It, yes, you can be able to file it. Just back to it. I just want to come in. I've got to train my phone. Yeah. Yeah. You can read that one. Yeah. I know, but I mean, yeah. it's in your back. From the time of the, the tree dying, how long? Do the residents have to well, once they're notified, once they're notified, there is time limits built in. Correct. Upon notification. So, how long? You know, now I'm looking at this, and it's, I mean, it's mostly clear, but I want to be sure at the end. Okay. Um, so, if David Welch has a sloppy dying palm. And he gets a notice from the city. How long does he have to do? Uh, upon uh, notification, you have 30 days. Okay. So yeah. Or shall that. have the, <coughs> most 30 days after notifying the cut officers that has been removed. He'll have 15 days from the day of service of notice. So is that based on a postmark on the envelope? Yes. Or? Okay. Yes. It, you'll be mailed to certified mail. All right. Clean it up, David. Yeah, it is like it's, it, it's it's not like it's something that it is. There's going to be some flexibility. There. We're not going to have yeah. the attack dog. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's, it's, just, it's just something with some teeth uh, to make some people. And then a, what annual requiring us to annually remove our dead bronze? That would be the nice thing. Twice, twice. Well, because I is, that, I is that in here? I thought I read that in there. Yeah. No. That, that's. Yes. That's actually not what I meant, but we're asking it's the same sec one. Section two. It's so section two has no teeth, but you're just asking folks to uh, to prune yearly so we keep the tree rats Correct. and roaches down. Correct. Okay. Yeah, and the idea is to do it when we right before the trash day. Yeah. 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 Who's gonna make the assumption oh. that I got too many roaches? Yeah. <laughs> Things like that are really difficult. Yeah, but we get we get I mean, complaints. I'm just saying, I, I we get complaints. Of, of this stuff is silly. Yeah, we get complaints from. Uh, I think the uh, dead tree part's good. Yeah, but beyond that, well, like I said, we get complaints of people leaving stuff just out in their yard that there's roaches, rats, and stuff there like are, that. There are months and months. So there's of really no difference. And <laughs> the state park will. Trim any of them. They say if anything falls down, it's it's going back to the earth. So I mean, you get into into your, you know, it's, there's all, all kinds of different viewpoints on that. This is a roach here. <laughs> you know, I, I actually, you know, if we got a roach here, if you pull them, if you, as they say, you pull the top of it out and it comes all around, it's dead. I mean, that's that's. Yeah, I, I like the, the the thing about the dead trees, but beyond that. How in the world would you really? Well, there is there is no notice with the with the uh, dead palm branches. Correct. It's just saying, hey guys, this is what we should be. Doing. It says should be pruned yearly. Yeah, it says should be. So that yeah. doesn't actually have any teeth. Correct. Yeah, that's like government. Uh, okay. Yeah. Stay away from my phone. Sounds no. like a government deal. <laughs> Who decides that it's a dead palm? Uh, uh, Tom. 
Okay. Yeah, like I said, it's very simple. We'll just pull yeah, top of it out. It's there, it's there. But, you know, actually, you know, you can drop around and see. It's rough, too. Uh, it's this tree, it's our show. Correct. So, you know, if, if somebody's bush dies, they kind of, kind of, you really won't get, I think the palm trees, is, you know, we do have a problem with the palm trees. They die, get the disease, they should be removed. As it should any bush that's been sitting dead for six, eight months. Okay, we're going to have to spend, this is one of these times, we're going to have to think about it, I think. Yeah, I think it's the way it's going to be. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. To clean up the dead trees? We, we did do that. We have during the form for the big trash pickup days. Uh, the, the annual one. But uh, this actually puts two in the, this make people a bit more classy for the trade a little bit. Should we get rid of it? It has a, up to a $100 uh, fine for it. Yeah, yeah, I agree with this in spirit. This is not worded in a way that it's. And what about where all these people are taking their trees? Should we work. go ahead and just call for it to, to shelf it? To, to I think right. we should go ahead. Let's think it. about it a little bit more and get, get it where it really means. I mean, not being. No, 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 yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I think they're they're but it's it's that's it's, art. That's yeah. not a dead tree. That would be one thing. We should put a, a height limit. Right. You know, all of this is coming. Yeah, six <laughs> seven, eight, eight, eight. It needs to be five. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All this is telling me is that we should table this until yeah. Can I until we visit me and we'll yeah. Yeah. get yeah. your concerns yeah. again? Motion to table. Motion, motion to motion to table. Motion, motion to table. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. <clears throat> Next item is discuss, discussion and consideration and possible, possibly take action to approve resolution number 2023-02 designating Robert M. Quintero to apply for a grant for car cam cameras for the police department. Absolutely right. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, this is uh, through the uh, Office of the Governor, uh, Criminal Justice Division. Uh, this will assist the police officers if they're in pursuit of somebody. Somebody throws out something on the car, and or if they have, uh, they may have somebody in the back of their car that they want to give us fair advice protection. Any question? No, this is forward to. This is, one of, this is one of those things that keeps Now, let me explain out. to you. The grant has already been submitted. Got officer, uh, J, CJD office knows that it takes time for councils to ratify or, or approve resolutions. Right. So you can submit it and then submit your resolution. So it's already, the grant is already there. Okay. So I have a motion to approve to discuss it in consideration to possibly take action to approve it. <laughs> Resolution number 2023-02, designating Robin Quintero to apply for a grant for car cam cameras for the police department. Motion to approve resolution 2023-02, designating Robert M. Quintero to apply for a grant for car cam cameras for the police department. Second. Second. All in favor? So, discussion and consideration to possibly take action to approve resolution number 2023-03, approving the annual Galveston County Mosquito Control yes. District contract for aerial spraying for mosquito. This is actually standard operating procedure that's been every year, every year. Uh, if, we don't do it, if we don't do it, shame on us. <laughs> yeah, better it would be consensus. <laughs> 
Discussion, next uh, item number six, discussion, consideration, and possibly take action to approve resolution number 2023-04, approving an interlocal agreement with TIPS Purchasing Cooperative. Mr. Pintero, would you like to? TIPS is a, is a it's no cost to receive. It's a co-op purchasing co-op. Uh, we'll use this system so you can actually receive money back from them as, because the, the contractors use them as a, a source. And if we ever... In the future, we need to bid on projects. They will handle. They will seek the bids for us without us having to go any further. They'll get the bids coming in, whether we purchase equipment and/or services for contractors. And it's similar to HGAC buy. Right. We have to buy something like this. Um, yes, no, maybe, uh, but it's there. It's available. And it's at no cost to the city. I've never seen one of these that didn't want to cost me money. <laughs> well, HGC does it, and I've been real familiar I'm with saying, it. I've, I've been involved with them before. Yeah. I've been over home, and it I've was, it never, was awesome. Yeah. They it's awesome, awesome, but it's like I don't a know if I ever got my bottom line. Yeah. With me. Yeah. So yeah. I, it was a co-op, and it was great. Bottom line. And um, how much, you know, how much volume? We, we don't Ooh. have the volume right now, but if we go... I mean, if we ever need it, it's available to us. Okay, it's at no cost to the city. Right, it's at no cost. But we do get it's our- It's zero cost. I, I, when, when I sat at the meeting and asked three times, are you sure it's no cost? But she said, it's no cost to join this co-op. They make their money from the contractors and or vendors who sell goods and services. All that has to be relevant to the cost of products in a way that's not good. Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> the actual contractors they pay right. to belong to Yeah, I understand they get quantity prices. No. That, that's the deal. Mm -hmm. No, it's not the quantity. It's, it's part of it. What kind of things are you looking to buy from them? At this moment, nothing right now. Nothing? Nothing right now. Well, what would like you like buy? Trash from? service. We can yeah, I, 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 that, what I was looking at is if we bid out our, our trash services again, they will seek the bids for us. Anything, they'll bid out trash, water, no, any, or, or product. Yeah. It's, a, it's like a co-op. Uh, it is a co-op. Yeah. Co and okay. it doesn't cost the city anything. But we can always double check them if we choose. Well, yeah, that's a, if you don't like what they put up, we can go out and bid it ourselves. Well, could we try this for a year and come back to it in a year and see so how it's going to We may not use it in a year, so yeah, you could do that. Yes. Okay. We're not obligated to use it. I'm not. You know, we, buy our, we buy our our office supplies from Office Depot, and we're happy with it. We continue to use you know, Office Depot on our own. We're small, we only have a few things from, that we become skilled at bidding out services. I'm, I'm more in favor of direct contracting. Really? But you're saying if, you, if they come up with someone and you don't like it, we're not obligated. No, we're not obligated no, to use it. Not at all. But they're just another, but they're another function. Contract, another function to get more people get different. I understand I'm out there too, but I've seen this in the past and they're structuring the contract. No, no, no. that's not true. No. You, you, you make several no. different statements. Um, yes. No. I, mean, I, mean, I don't know what you're the talking vendor, about. The vendor will contract with us. What so, we select. Yes. They're just, the, they're just helping us with a bid process. So I'll ask this question then. I, you know, I come, I'm a kid from the sticks, right? Uh, when I grew up, we had farmers cooperatives mm -hmm. and we'd all go to the co-op and buy our gasoline. Mm -hmm. They didn't charge us any more than anybody else. They, you know, we bought our, our seed and our fertilizer and everything else from the co-op. And at the end of the year, the co-op members would get cash back from the co-op 
based upon the volume discounts that they got for feed, fertilizer, gasoline, diesel, whatever. Right? Is this how that works? There, there's no, no cash back. No, 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 no. We do get a cash back. Okay, we, we do. We, we get back, if we use their system and we contract with one of their vendors, we will get a cash re uh, rebate. So, not exactly like that, but something close. All right. No, but it's a win win for the city with everything, even though it's goods and services, whatever whatever it shall be, vendors, uh, um, contracting help, there, there's lots of different avenues that they provide. And there's also no penalty for getting out of it. No. <clears throat> so if we try it and we get out of it, we just say we we're not gonna do that. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry? I don't think we'll be getting out of it. I mean it's fine. Yeah. 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 It's not findings. We're not no, I'm saying we're trying to save this city some money. I'm just, I did not have the expertise. I'm, I'm going to be quiet. I don't, perhaps I think there's a couple of people I'm looking at that probably do. I don't. So, yeah, it sounds like a good fish. Uh, it just, it's, Anytime we're going to just cash back, and <laughs> somehow this, these things have to be rolled to cost some place. Mm -hmm. That's all. Okay. And I don't have the expertise. So I, I I'll, I'll, use ex I'll use the experience that I have. And this is not with this co-op, but I was part of uh, HJC buy. And there was no, he, did, he didn't have to be a, a pay any fees for it. And they would get the bids for it. We had to buy several bands at one time. And they got the best prices for us for those vans because they contracted with the vendors to be in there. And where I was, we bought like it was like six vans, and uh, best price we could get. This is what this co-op's going to do. And I'm not saying we'll ever buy vans. I'm just saying it's an <laughs> option. <laughs> and it's just an option, you know. And I, 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 and I'm really, I'm going to give you the worst case scenario. I'm going to give you the worst, worst case scenario. What if we have a, a, a hurricane and we lose vehicles? Okay, this this would help us in the process, and we wouldn't have to bid it out because we could go right to them. And they would already have the bids in cases of emergency. So, is there a website that I can go look? Sure, and see tips. Uh, I'll give it to you. I went and looked at one website, and I'm not sure that I looked at the right one now because they were talking about office equipment and playground. Also, they have it all. Yeah, they have everything. Yeah, everything. I guess I, I, I'm not, I'd like to just have a lot more information about this. We can ask, she asked, actually said she would come over here and address these questions that, that you had. Well, then maybe that would be a good idea. Yeah, well. We just read it. Yeah. Yeah. Table that one. Motion to table. Jack, I think she calls it. Seven discussion consideration and possibly take action to approve resolution number 2023-05 authorizing the mayor to approve a maintenance contract between the city of Jamaica Beach and Branch Construction LLC for professional service to operate the water and wastewater operations. Uh, staff recommends that we contract with Branch uh, Construction to administer the wastewater treatment plant and water services. Background to uh, Jamaica Beach Post and RFP for this services. Two applicants will return on time. The RFP was opened and evaluated by staff and our engineers with Merchant Associates. After some deliberation, the RFP was scored. Branch Construction had the highest score. The difference in pricing, USW came in at $12,290 per month. Branch Construction came in with a bid of $23,600 a month with a 15 thousand dollar worth of free <coughs> services that will go against uh, that they will give us 
Okay? Uh, you know, granted, the overall average total is going to be $8,600 a month. Uh, they will provide they they will provide us with one employee for eight hours uh, a day all the, for five days a week. The and they are here in the audience if y'all want to ask them questions. I, am, I do. Come on, Mr. Gans. Good evening. First, I'd just like to introduce the guys. I'm John Ashworth, and I'm one of the principals at Branch Infrastructure. J.W. Gordon, he as well as a principal at the company. Okay. Dan Hudson has spent, we've spent quite a bit of time down here already with the city over the last several months. So Dan actually lives on the island and is in near proximity, and he's been down here practically on a daily basis, learning, knowing the city, and really understanding the needs and then also executing work for the city as well. And then Leroy Thomas, he is someone that he is an expert in the operation of the sewer and the water plant, all of the certification of all the state-based testing and all that happens. So you all probably know right now, I guess for some time now, there has been an entity in here that has done the testing and the such and then they did not really have the ability to do the modifications, which would include emergency work, regular point repair, leaks and the such, and then the rehabilitation work to help rebuild the city and make the infrastructure system better. So they really used a subcontractor to come and do that. And what I do know is that that was not very timely. There was a lot of times where you know, it was two or three weeks before leaks were addressed and things like that. So we are one entity, one company that operate there. We would have someone at the plants that would be there on a regular basis to care for it, okay? And they would do all the testing, all the state reporting, all that's required there. Also have their eyes on all the equipment. We have a regular maintenance program where we will maintain and inspect really daily, okay? And then the city itself, and I think uh, Robert spoke to that, we have a in-house person that's a very qualified person that he is the one that's already been down here for the last few weeks, okay? He understands the city, he's seen it, he would be the one that would be the eyes on the ground and he would daily be walking lines, you know, doing all those things, uh, flushing, the fire water system doing all those things to really bring operational integrity to the city. Yeah, and I can say this. We've been working with them for months. Uh, uh, Mayor Bertel, we're a and myself and Robert. We have went through this city. We have had so many meetings with these guys, and we appreciate the time that they, they put in and invested in helping us and getting us out of some lines that we were, we were in and struggling. They've done great. Well, you, you were here when, when Sarah had some concerns I mean, uh, about overtime and stuff like that. Can you address any of that? Or yeah, let me, is that just kind of a... Yeah, let me speak to that really quick, okay? Because the, in keeping an eye on the city, let, let me just say that we are, we have a lot of clients that are very similar to you guys, okay? We like working with the municipalities or a lot of our clients. And we actually have a personal relationship with those people. So for us, we are relational. We have people there. And you have my and JW's personal assurance that we have been and we will be there for you when you have a problem. The other side of that is we will be ongoing, inspecting, working with the city within budget, okay, to increase and improve the infrastructure of the city. One thing that was said about TIPS uh, is that one, a couple of the real values of having TIPS is one, those rates that are used in TIPS, one of the purposes of using it is that it keeps the city completely in compliance. So in other words, our rates, the ones that you get, are the exact same rates that we use for every other municipality and a lot of our clients, just like you, they use TIPS because 
then they're able to award the work. They have the full confidence that the pricing, okay, is within state compliance. So, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to send out three or four bids. You don't have to, the city doesn't have to accept the, the responsibility of making sure that the rates are in compliance. We do what's called RS means, which is a government accepted calculation on every single job we do. And we're perfectly transparent that those calculations are always at your uh, disposal. So the rates we use are always going to be state compliant and keep you in compliance. And the other side of that is, my experience has been down here that our rates are actually uh, substantial. Well, I know they're a lot less than what the city had been paying previously for contract work. Part of that is the dams right down the island, and we have a good sized base of operation in Dickinson. So we can be here quickly, and I know that in the past a lot of those folks were coming from Cyprus and a lot further to take care of the city. Dan? How long were you with Galveston Water? Uh, 13 years. 13 years, and he knows a lot about the water and water systems. And, and, right. and he lives here. Yeah. Eight miles down the road in Campeche Estates. <laughs> I live right down the road, so. During Christmas, I was down here. Christmas Day, I was at Russell's house. Christmas Eve, I was at Russell's house, shutting water off, turning water off. I was in this neighborhood the whole, the whole holiday. So, and the Chiefs got my number, and somebody had a problem just last weekend. They call, he gave it to them. They called me. I was out here. I fixed their their problem. And we thank you for right spending your day with us. And uh, something I wanted to address though. She said that we've spent, is it Susan? Was that right? Sarah. You? Excuse me, Sarah? 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 Sarah, I'm sorry. No, I'm not Sarah. Yeah, this I'm is Sarah. Sarah. Oh. This person. You were talking about money. She yeah, yeah. The money. Yeah, you mentioned hey guys, the money. Let's keep, let's keep the everything. Yeah. She said, yeah. Anyways, she said nothing's for free, but there is certain things we can do and that we have done that helps out here in the city. Yeah. The drainage canal, we clean that out for you. I mean, you never got a bill for that. The sewer treatment plant, all that debris that was just dumped on you guys, I don't know where it came from, but we straightened it out. I think you've seen that, didn't you? And we, we even planted grass out there. You never got a bill for that. Are you going to make, keep and maintaining that? And keep That's keep part of the contract is to mow that grass. Is that yeah. in your contract? Yes. 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 Where is that in here? All maintenance of all facilities. Yep. It's, it's in yes. there. Is this the contract? What we have here? Is this that the agreement. contract? The agreement. The agreement. And the so, final thing I wanted to say was the concrete back here in the back of the city hall. I don't know if anybody's noticed it, but yeah. that was that was a something Robert come up with, and the mayor and myself, and I said, hey, you guys supply the material, and we'll okay. we'll do the labor. That's, so is that what the um, and that was private what? public? agreement is about mm -hmm. correct so is that separate from this well, we're, we're not in this yet yeah, we're not in we're this, not in this yet. Yet. well when um it says here more mary morris line the public private partnership with branch construction group so is is this different than this well this is just a one-time no. one-time thing so this is this this is just a one-time one thing. Yeah. Okay. And they did us a favor, just like they've done with the drainage ditch, okay. turning okay. on and off the water. But all they're going to the continue holiday. doing these favors. That's, that's <laughs> the way. <laughs> that's, that's the way I operate. Okay. And, and that's in your. And, and that's and that's in in this contract. They're not about favors, but it shows what they're doing. We just try to we just try to use. We're not trying to complicate this. It was very simple. I asked them to do a favor, and they did it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
get it ready for the concrete? I think we just try to apply logic and common sense. There's yeah. some times where if we can do something and we're on site that benefits the city, we're fine with that. Right. There'll be other times where we may bump up against some stuff that's more difficult than we expected. I mean, most of our work every day is like unknown work because it's underground. So you don't really know what you have right. until you know what you have. Um, so. Your mayor pro Tim Russell, uh, he asked me, Right there in front of his house on Jolly Roger, I guess the gas company tore up some sidewalks, put it in gas lines or something. So he's been trying to get it fixed forever. I said, hey, I'm pouring that concrete, I'll come over there. I don't know if anybody's noticed the sidewalks fixed, but we yeah. poured the yeah. sidewalks. Yeah. 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 Thank you. So, Thank you guys for that. It was actually, just only in front of the I, I actually, I actually didn't do it to Russell's satisfaction. He made me go over and rip it out. A big section of it, redo it. But, you know, it's, I want to do it right, too. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, Yeah, I want you guys to stay here. I'm a construction man. I come up through the field. Okay, I went to school at night to get my engineering degree. I know exactly what you're saying. What I'm going to say is going to be directed to Robert. I think you guys have got an excellent company. I think you're strong. I think you can do exactly what you say you can do. I'm impressed. Robert, this is to you. We went out with a request for a proposal. Okay? I can't vote on this because I have no justification and I have no recommendation from you. You've got other bids, other bidders. I expected, I expected you to have a spreadsheet where you evaluated these bids and a recommendation on who you wanted to award this contract to or our mayor to award the contract to and why this is the best for the city. We and that's all I'm going to say. I opened up the session yeah. as part of the South City about having that spreadsheet and seeing the numbers, and you've seen it exactly in writing, not verbally, so we have time to review it. Thank you. And um, that's it. Did, did we? Yeah, you don't know, you know yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hang on, let me do this address uh, real okay. quick. We covered some things in the last meeting. I opened this up. The section of the agenda of saying staff recommends. That is my recommendation. We had our engineers that, that reviewed the RFPs. So, so where's your spreadsheet and where's his comments and who's the best and why? You, you prove some out, you balance some, and why? Did, did we not meet on this last meeting? Yeah, we, we actually met on, we actually, y'all approved. Allowing us to go into contract negotiation with this company. The, with this Not company. Award, you said, to go into with, contract with negotiations. With this company. With this company. Not, not anybody else. And that was, I think it, it voted unanimously. Okay. Right. So, this is what we did. We Fine, but you. I can't, I can't, can't look. Then we I, should I, I wouldn't be doing my job if I did not say what I'm saying. Okay. It would be a disservice to this city. And we went through the bidding process, did we not, guys? We did. Thank so you. Wait, where's the spreadsheet? Okay. You know, we've approved as city council the funding for that. Funding only. Yes. Funding only. Oh, no. No. The for, has for, be based we, on. Okay. We, we gave the okay to go into contract negotiations with them last meeting, you know. You voted on it and you approved it. Negotiations only. Negotiate and come back to it. And that's what he's doing right now. That's what he's doing right now. We're trying to approve it. I can't vote for it. Okay, thank you. Go ahead. So, yeah, my question is about monthly fee and the $15,000 of credit promised. Uh, you know, I'm a consultant. We do fix big work like that all the time. Not all the time, but we do oh, structure a lot of our fixed bid work like that. Um, you know, it, it would be, I, I'm, I don't mean to disrespect you, gentlemen. I just, I just, I just, I just don't quite feel all the way comfortable with it. And for the first year, 
absolutely. You're gonna you're gonna be you know we're gonna be going over your fifteen thousand left. What is the duration of this contract? Is it one year? Now you're talking the contract itself. Yeah. So the duration of the contract is one year. Well, in the first year we'll never have to worry about whether it's fifteen thousand as they had you said. And then we renegotiate. Yes. It's in effect for one year and will remain in force thereafter with automatic annual renewal. Thank you. 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 Then can we reevaluate by March 1st of next year? Yes. Well, we've got it down in September of this year. Then we need to get one person. We work off the fiscal budget. So even though this says for one year, maybe we need to work with them for up until the budget and then renew it then at budget time and start the contracts from then on. Yeah, from there on it would be on the budget day. Because it would be appropriated for. We we will have we not budgeted this money already? Yes. Okay. It's budgeted through what? Well we put Every the money September what? We put the money from the budget, which they're under. And where is what line item is it being paid from? Uh Wastewater treatment. Uh, Wastewater treatment. Yeah, I'm sorry. There's two different ones. You've had. There's two different ones. Operations. I mean, we were under the same thing with with USW. We paid them a set amount every month that were in there, and then we paid anywhere from four to eight thousand extra a month for work orders that they were doing. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. So. And we, okay, just, and we just we just tried to put something together that made sense on it business makes model. Sense. It's a good a good sale deal right. and it's a made no, sense. Well, 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 it's it's the city. city. So you know our intent is to work no, with you guys have a long term sustainable relationship. Yeah, and we appreciate yeah. that. We just need to start trying to do to do our due diligence. Sure, I agree. Sure. Um, yep. Sarah yeah. brought up about emergencies, and that isn't in isn't in here. How if there's an emergency? What is the procedure for that? For emergencies, as in for water leaks, it, this is just the maintenance of your wastewater okay. treatment plants. Okay. So anything outside of your plants, like if the street or water main blows, that's on. That's not even in the contract. That's not okay. part of that. So what if there's an emergency at the call. wastewater plant? Then we would be there. Okay, but as they have been for the last four or five months. months. Yes. Yeah. And that fifteen thousand can be applied every month towards any job. So whether it's an emergency, it's regular, it's rehabilitation work. You want to apply it towards the rehabilitation work that might need to be done. Yeah. Streets, drainage, water, sewer, whatever falls in into our wheelhouse, which is for there. Putting up fence for your proposed dog park out there by the treatment plant? Oh, See, I've, I've not been included with all of this, this stuff, these meetings, and so I, I like hearing this because I haven't been told who's been doing that work. And what we can do is keep a good running balance each month of to the 15000 and report to you what we're getting for that 15000 And you'll report to us, sure. to council, we what we're getting for that. Sure. They're pretty good on getting when we do the work orders and things like that. And tell giving me an estimate of what's going to be, and we'll use that first 15000 on that. Could you include that in the agenda packet so everyone can see that? Sure. Great. Are you looking at me? <laughs> 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 I will let you take care of it. Uh, okay. <laughs> no problem. Okay. 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 Thank you. 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 So part of our uh, work going forward would be to have a work order system that the city has complete, you know, they can see exactly what's going on. We're happy to send back job calculations on each job. That's just the way we operate. And we actually, the infrastructure side of it, the work order side, 
will be a lot more organized and it'll be digital. It won't be you know, pencil, flip, and paper and that sort of thing. Yeah. We've been really trying to get yeah. that system up and going since they've been working for us. We've need that for all kinds of things. Yeah, exactly. We've been trying to put this together for years. <clears throat> We want to partner for the long term with you guys. Mm -hmm. My question was, was answered about, and thank you for going into more detail that that 15,000 was not just for wastewater, we can use it to fix the sidewalk. Paving, anything. If you got a pothole in your street you want to fix, Robert tells me I'm going to go fix it and then 15 grand will go towards it. I mean, yeah. it's just. We just much. figured that was a reasonable number based on past performance. And we have that that money covered in, in the um, in, in the budget. It's actually right now we're over in waterline repairs. Every time I turn around, there's another break. Once this all levels out, you're going to see where it's actually less a month than what we've been paying our previous uh, maintenance company or whatever. He was telling me. So they're going to actually be less, I think. Yeah. You know. And the response time is key. Be, uh, it, you know, our last contract can take a couple of days to get out of here because they, they're the same crews from. And they had to sub it out to additional yeah. contractor to additional contractor to. This is all in house. They got it. One got stop it shop. Yeah. We're, 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 once, once we raise our water pressure, all this ABS is going to start popping in. Well, that's what they've been fixing some of that. They've been fixing some of that anyway. Clay, just two really quick points. One of them is we will, I mean, the integrity of the piping system that we found in the, system, the city, you know, it, it's, it's been it's substandard, whoever put it in. Let me just assure you all and, and uh, you know, the city that, like, and you know from our past work, we don't put substandard components of the ground, okay? We do the job right, and we want to make sure the right thickness of the pipe, that over time, I mean, you have to start somewhere, right? So you start somewhere and you build a highly, uh, a high integrity system, and it won't happen overnight. But you know what, if you stay at it, and you know, we're happy to work with the you know, budget, whatever we can do to help to make that happen. So one, building a more sustainable system, and the other one is, is we have a very prescribed uh, matrix, Gantt chart, of what we deliver. So you can look at that and you will get a report back on a regular basis, which I suspect you were not getting any of that in the past, okay? That the work was actually done, okay? So it's going to be done. There's a lot of faulty valves in the city. There's a lot of problems there, but over time, Get better and better over time. Yeah, I mean our system is is 30, 40, and 50 years old. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, depending on what section you live on, you know, and when it was developed. Uh, most of the Yeah, most of the 50, and that's way beyond the life expectancy of infrastructure. And the repair clamps and some of the installation that we've seen today is definitely a substandard. Right. So we don't do it that way, and we don't put that stuff in the ground. Are you, saying, right. that, are you saying that recent um, repairs have been uh, I'm just saying like some of the repair clamps and the such the, the, are oh. the lowest, cheapest ones you could buy. Actually, Councilman Jones, yeah. that leak that was right behind your house, that was repaired by the other company last year, mm -hmm. was it? Mm -hmm. And they, it broke again because they use clamps that you go to Home Depot and you buy them, they're plastic. We can go, I can take you right downstairs right now and show you the clamps that I just purchased on Friday, the company did, and they're downstairs waiting to be used on your system. And they're not plastic. They're some of the highest grade Romax couplings you, you can buy right now. Okay. And it's made, they're made to fit this oddball size pipe you have on it. It's, your pipes are, yeah, I, I mean, I, I experienced this. My water was on and off for a week. Yeah. So I, I get it. So I'm just letting you know that the parts we're putting in the ground, you know, they're downstairs right now.
Wait for a break. I got them ready. Okay, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Someone's going to wash out, they usually wash out in that period, right? Like right. they start and they're not cutting it in 30 days. So they're this already gone. Right. The way this is going to be now, if they start in the middle of the month, they would be. They're going to automatically. On the next month. Yes. Right. Yeah. Where we've been, where we month. have, where TML has been not charging us for it, so they're just basically, they're going to go, they're going to make it retroactively. They're going to charge you for the month that they start. Got it. Okay. So if you do 30 days. Uh, or whatever you want, the 30 or 60 minutes, you know. But if you do 30 days, they're, and it's in the middle of the month. They're going to they're charge you for that month. month. Yes. Mm -hmm. What would you all do? It's a big alcohol. 
who was already in the season, pretty much. So we got one third? Or, or immediately. That's basically what it is. Yeah. We got the minute 30 I see days, what would you like? 30 days? That's, that's what you're recommending, right? It's a cost thing where you guys need to decide if you want to pick up the cost of their health and then on immediately, or you want to do it. Still make them wait the 30 days or the 60 days. I'm, so, I'm preparing it right off the bat. Well, I knew you had brought that up. So this is, I, TML very rarely ever does something like this. But they very rarely done. Right? They really have not. I've not seen well, it. 30 right. days, if that's the standard. That's common practice. That, that's fine. I, I mean, I'll go for period for your boy. I was going to say immediate too, but then you brought up wash it out. It wasn't. Now, I worked for one city. We only have two. Yeah, it was so for 90 days, days and I worked for another city that was immediate. So this city is right not dead. That's right right there. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. It may not be standard. But it's, we're small. We got, I worked for companies for six months. We have to have really. You know, we have to really support our employees. Debbie, what did you say our city is? 90 days. 90 days. 90, 90 days, days from the budget start. That's, mm -hmm. yeah. That's typical. Right. That's all we have. So does that need to be, somebody need to make a motion? Make a motion. Our foot, I was going to get this is strong. You said we have a strong goal. Well, we got three here. We said 30. We have three for what? 30 days. 30 for 30? Yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay. May I have a motion to pass? Uh, I make a motion that we uh, change the waiting period for new hires to 30 days. For health care insurance benefits with Texas Municipal League. Correct. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? And then we have to fill out this form and leave it with you. Um, I, I mean, I, I mean, it's, you don't have to fill it out. I'm just going to go back and send this to her tonight because it has to be in by March 1st. And I'm just going to, I mean, I can have the mayor sign it or I'll be happy to make a beach. Or, yeah. Of course, I, I mean, I sign most anything with the health care. I mean, I mean, I, 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 yeah, I mean, HR, I can probably do that. Because I, I enroll them and I <coughs> terminate them, so. <laughs> I mean, I can this, you know. Okay, next item uh, for discussion. In discussion. Yeah. 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 Uh, discussion <laughs> only, no action will be taken, is the parking on Bob Smith. I know we've had lots of uh, input on that. Uh, I've had several citizens, some vote for it, some against it. It's, it's, it's kind of all, all across the board. Uh, we're not voting on it tonight. May I remind you, but we did want to address any concerns that y'all have or you've heard. Anyone? You know, I, I it's one of these things. I don't have a strong feeling about it. Yes or no. What I would like, though, is some more input from folks with folks in the Folks in the vicinity, maybe we could get it. And I, I hate doing this to y'all because it's, it's, it seems trite, but I would really like to see a petition to see how many people want this. I, you know, I know, I know one for sure, and I see a, a gentleman nodding his head. But I, I would like to know that the majority of the folks living in, the, in those blocks, that is something that they want. And I'd like to, your know, input from the police chief at some point <coughs> whether it's needed or if it's uh we can do partial or should it be the whole thing or you know what it's, you it's been my history when you do something like that that you need to get input from everybody around there because not everybody around there may agree or they may all think what she brought up this evening is perfect but to go out there and just do it because a couple of people may have said it no disrespect i think you ask everybody Correct. just to make sure because I did stop a couple of people and they were like, well, when I have an overflow at my house, because I read a report today where somebody got a disturbance about people parking out in the street, they got upset, so they like to park over there on that fence line where they got visitors coming over. So which one? <coughs> so I, again, all my deal is, if you get a majority to say they want it, ladies vote. 
guys vote them. And I think you need to get input from someone who's go out there and do it. You don't want her to do it. You don't want me to do it because we might not be fair. Get someone independent to go out there and do it and get their input on it as well. <clears throat> and make sure we share it with her so that she does it. And, and that's, that's the exact information I've shared with her. Russell's is in that we wanted to get everybody's input. For yeah, sure. At least you know, within the four or five blocks that it affects. Okay. And there may be a lot more people that agree with her. Yeah, as I explained, I don't have a dog in the fight. I don't live right there. Yeah, so, I but I, but I understand I want to do what they think yeah, is sure. necessary. With all, in all due respect, if we put up a no parking sign, I'll give you an example. Someone came to me and talking about no parking on the streets anymore in front of the bay houses. Are y'all okay with that? Yeah, no. Heck no. And let me tell you why. Because somebody said, well, what we're saying is we don't want the rentals to be that way. Well. We can't do an ordinance that says you're rentals only. So the minute I do that for the rentals, when you have a party at your house, you know, you can't have those two cars out there. Now you're mad at me because one of my guys. So see, it doesn't always mean the same to everybody. So, yeah, I just, I'm, don't, don't get mad at me. Just get rid of all of them. I'm just trying to be fair. All of no parking time. Yeah. Okay, does anybody have, have any other input? Yeah, I do. Um, we've been wrestling with this park and these parking issues. For six years? Oh, uh, ever yeah. since I, I was elected one year, eight months ago. Because um, once you're elected in this body, you really get involved. Right? You can't dodge it. We've been fighting with these parking problems, especially in Bob Smith. I'd like us to keep talking about this because there should be a solution. I've thought about this. Maybe we have a limited time parking in certain areas only in there. Maybe we make a special park place for these guys to park where they can cross the fence and fish, but you know, we can keep it clean that way. But it is a trash problem, and we have these problems. So if someone can come up with a viable solution, it would be good for the community. Because that's the that's what we're trying to do by everybody yeah, so discussing. That's, that's what I'm saying. And I don't think it's a matter of oh well, who wants it, who not. That, that helps. But maybe we just come up with a common sense way to to mitigate the situation. That's what we're trying to do. Thanks. I think we need more input from the people. We've got Kaylin who's been the advocate for this, but we need maybe have a town hall and open it up to more people. Awesome. That's a good way to do it. Okay. Uh, next item. Uh, discussion only. No action will be taken to consider making a dog park on the property adjacent to the city's wastewater treatment plant. Um, I accepted this, you know, that we should get this on the the agenda we have discussed this for years trying to figure out a good place for it uh, one thing we were talking about in, in our considering for that particular area i'm not against the dog park whatsoever i'm i don't think this is the best location i will listen to what everybody has to say because we've got some we're trying to reserve that space to do a lot of for emergency response teams uh, from my uh, getting their boats out of the water, lifts for them, so they can be a much quicker response to get out to the bay. It's take, it takes considerably uh, a lot longer. You know, the police are, are right now having to depend on a citizen to keep their boat in the water so it's ready to go. Um, so that's, that's what we're looking at. But the dog park we have looked at for years and, and try to figure out where to do that. The other issue we, we're going to have is when to budget that. You know, right now we are tight on the budget. We are so tight. So that would be something that we could definitely be looking at for 2024 and uh, budget. But I would definitely like to hear more about what Marjorie, all Marjorie has to say about the show. Yeah, I, in fact, I think it was like nine, ten months ago, you, you mentioned this man in the hall over there. If you wanted to, to working, uh, I thought you still even with the Coast Guard. Something like that, that we would have a, make a, a regular boat slip with a lift, a full-fledged lift, you know, for a rescue boat, and also a storage for 
fire equipment and stuff? We're going to see the building out there? Yeah, emergency. That's what you're talking about. Right. Right. Like a regular building, an emergency response team, storage for fire equipment, stuff like that. Um, that's expensive. We're working on granny at once. Grants. It's taking so long. long time. Yeah. So here's the thing. Um, you know, at, at our, at our uh, I meet the candidates um, event when, when we were there a lot, you know, the last, last election. There was a lot of talk about this. I thought it was a good idea then. I really think it's still a good idea. Um, so that's why I'm, pro I'm proposing it. I'm proposing that we use the city property at the waste treatment plant for the dog park. There's enough area for parking and a good-sized dog park. The city of Galveston has several dog parks that are smaller than this. There's several of them that are smaller. This really make a great dog park. We, I think we can do this cost efficiently, and there's some things here for us. One of these things is really what, what it takes is just some site prep and some fencing. And I think if we can use hot tax money to do this, and this is a great test for what we can use hot tax money for. Okay? I hear a lot of talk, a lot of people, what can we use it? You with me? We use, we use hot money all the time for projects. Yeah. Thanks, right. Yeah. So if we could use hot tax money, this would free up $107,200 we have to this property tax money. Okay. It's 107000 $107,200. That's what's in our budget to, to fix that bulkhead down there. So we don't have, you think we don't have to fix the bulkhead? We do. We I bulk? think we could use it for hot, hot tax money as part of site trail. Okay. Free the summer money up for you to use for these infrastructure problems. This is just my thinking. Okay. And I think it's a fix. It makes sense from the funding. Well, it, it's, we've got two issues that I would like to address, though, and it's going to be another how many people around that area would like their dog park right there. I understand. And then the second thing is uh, have you priced out what insurance is for no, the haven't. city? No, I haven't. Uh, it's been two years since we looked at that insurance, but it was absolutely. I know. Yeah. Every time we yeah. 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 And so it's something we need to really pay attention to. Yeah. I want to do it, yes. I think that amenities like, and then amenities like this make a community. This dog park, to me, somehow stands for what I think to make a big city. We should have things like this. We should have that daggone pickleball. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and like I said, it's all about budgetary I understand that. positions right now. That's what we're looking on. I think we're going to let me cut insurance. Now you can have our call for that. Order, guys. So anyway, um, what I was going to say, we're early in the discussion. Um, we're early in the discussion. I move that, that this discussion be tabled until the next council meeting, at which time I'll present a little concept plan to staff, and wherever it lands, it lands, okay? I just think it's a good thing for our community. All right, we have, sure, we have privacy, we have short-term rentals. We also have, we also have families who live here, we have older people like me, okay? My kids come down here, they got dogs, they got big dogs. <laughs> and if they need a place for them to go run, things like that. And if we use hot tax money, I think it would be a real value. And I think we can accommodate the boat too. All right? I think we can do both if, if we really work at it. Thank you. Sure thing. Thank you. Uh, next item on the report is mayor's report. I just want to say uh, we've been monitoring water and water usage here. And uh, what we do is Basically, when there's water, 
shooting out of the ground, we know we need to fix it. <laughs> uh, pretty simple. We don't. I don't think we need to spend a lot of money on on testing and measuring when we've got that already, that capability. Uh, we've, we have found several small leaks and we're getting those repaired. That's why our budget has went shot way too high uh, our, uh, for repairs. Uh, we're, we're looking at a lot of different things. Uh, we now have a gentleman that is very familiar with grants and getting uh, federal funding and we're working on it. He's working on it, but he's also fielding and doing the daily responsibilities. It's a big responsibility, and I want to thank you for all the hard work you did. Thank you. Uh, the process with Branch was followed as as instructed. Uh, what we did is we uh, counsel instructed Robert to to go and negotiate with them. And today was about approving what he had negotiated with him. And again, thank you for doing that. Uh, I want to thank, also thank the beautification team. You all make the place look great. We love what working with you guys. It's been a great positive experience and we love seeing you do what you do. Uh, I want to thank Branch again. Uh, I know they brought it up and I had it on my list to talk about and that was what y'all did at the drainage ditch, all the help you did to make it look as good as it, it, as it does now. Uh, turning the water off and on during the holidays. I mean, taking away from your own family to get us out and bail us out of when we needed it most. I turned off a bunch, Russell turned off a bunch. We were out in full force helping customers do what they needed to get done. Uh, and helping out with the uh, concrete labor behind City Hall. It looks it looks wonderful out there, guys. And, and we finally got where we're not clipping it, nobody's clipping it with their wheels. And, and, and you can actually pull a truck through there with with somebody parking across there at the laundromat. It was something that's been a pet peeve of mine for, for years. And we finally had the opportunity to get it done and, it, and got it done. But thank you, thank you. Um, we are on phase four now, or, uh, taking bids now. Uh, I was up here um, uh, when we were putting out four bids um, for phase four. We've done through three of the phases. How many, how many more we got left? 12, 14? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, we still got to go, so we've got a lot to go. Understand, this is something we figured was going to happen, and it, it is happening. As you start fixing things, the older stuff starts getting higher pressure. Even though you're not increasing it from the tap or, or the meter, we're, we're paying Galveston for the water. It increases pressure downstream. It's just the normal way it happens. There's less leaks. Yeah, and so it's the older thin wall, 50 year old pipe and clamps and T's and, and valves. Things. Yeah, it's they're all popping. I, you know, we've work, we're working on a couple of solutions for that. And, uh, uh, we're not ready for that. We're trying to get some more things together, but we are we are working on that solution. Uh, but we are moving forward. You know, that is a budgetary item when you're spending two hundred, four hundred, seven hundred thousand dollars per phase. It's not something we can just say. Oh yeah, go ahead and start. We have to make sure it's in the budget. You take away from other areas to make this happen. And it is a slow process. I mean, we're looking at 12, 14 years before all of them get done. I, I don't find that acceptable. So we're looking at other alternatives to make this happen. And uh, it's gonna be a big commitment, but we, we, we are working on it. Uh, we're working on it nearly every day. Uh, other than that, I, I thank everybody for coming out and seeing the process and how it goes. Uh, if anyone wants to visit, remember, I'm a phone call away. Staff is a phone call away. And all of our information is available on Facebook and on the website. Anytime you, you need any information. Other than that, I thank you all for coming. I'd like to motion for meeting to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second.
Thank you very much. Adjourned.